Well, what is going on? Welcome back to Clayton Shick Outdoors. And just like the title says, I got worms, green worms, chartreuse worms. Look at, they're chartreuse. They're green. We're gonna see if they work. Do green worms work? Let's go. First off, I hate how messy worms are. Like they're the messiest of the messiest. They're, the, they're messy. I hate dirt in the boat. Although my boat is a complete disaster. I really need to clean it. Okay, we are going to go with night crawlers on a drop shot. I know, sounds funny, I'm sure. But we're doing it. We're only gonna go half worms on a drop shot. We're gonna use scissors to cut them. I've been told that's their heart. I don't know if that's true or not. If it is, we'll use the non-heart side first. How am I gonna slide these on? Let's see here. I'm gonna go like this. Come here, come here. Oh, come here, come here. Squirmy, squirmy, squirmy. Hey, Mr. Wormy. Green worms. Chartreuse. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Oh wow, they actually have green dye come off of them. <laughs> this feels really gimmicky, but it also see, it feels fun at the same time. Plan of attack, just drag the drop shot really slow in amongst some rocks. Keep contact with the bottom and uh, hammer some walleyes. Let's see if we can catch a couple Walters. All I'm doing is basically dipping the weight to the bottom and just trying to keep in contact with the bottom the whole time. I'm using a trolling motor right now. I'm pulling myself into the waves, but we see I might do a controlled drift with the big motor instead going with the waves. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. Right now this is okay. I don't have too much line sway. I don't want too much of an angle. I want to keep this as vertical as I can. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Okay, that did not take that long. Like it. I like it. Ooh. Is this? This has got to be a pike. This got to be a pike. This is too... Feels too heavy to be a walleye. If it's a walleye, I got a good one. Ooh, come on. Maybe it's a walleye still. They do fight hard at this lake, that's for sure. They do fight hard. Ooh, that's a good walleye. That's a good walleye. First one with the green worm is no joke. Oh, it's not giant, but yes. Wow, that did not take long at all. First one with the green worm. Green worm works. These fish fight so hard. I'm still up the Caribou Lodge, participating in the walleye wars. And that's who hooked me up with the green worms was Norm. They come from Manny's live bait. He's like, you gotta use the green ones. So I'm like, yeah, I'll try them. Cause uh, if you guys don't know, I might like chartreuse just a little bit. Can't tell you how many 22 to 26 inch walleye I've caught on this trip. It's honestly insane. I stopped registering fish for the walleye wars at 90 and I'd catch about 10, 15 each day extra from what I registered. I probably caught close to 200 fish already and majority of them are between 22 and 26 inches. This can't break, break 27 and a half yet, but we will, we just gotta keep plucking along. It's all a numbers game, I think. And maybe now with the green worms, maybe that's gonna be the secret. Remember, I have, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use hoodies. Available in my shop on, uh, what is it, spring, I believe. There'll be a link in the description below for chartreuse hoodies. If you're a believer in green worms too, get a hoodie. I'm gonna probably do something with thinking spinners at some point too, but I figure a drop shot in amongst all these rocks when they're on top could be, could be really good for something like this. So why not try it? That's a fish. Very nice, very nice. I'm just giving them a second 
when they eat it. Just just one second, maybe two seconds, I don't know, but not, I'm going, uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 they always look bigger down deeper, but it's still another quality fish. Unbelievable. Wow. Another gooder. Another gooder. Skinny, but long. Uh, uh, whoops. Go. <laughs> well, literally caught two fish in about two minutes. I'm gonna be out of worms before I know it. I don't know why, but I love fishing a drop shot. That, I just love that hook set on a drop shot rig for some reason. I don't know why, but it's been addicting. Like lots of fun. It's such an easy way to fish too. It really is. Cause you just have to keep contact with the bottom with your weight. And then you can even dip it down a little bit. Let that night crawler sink a bit. You can raise it a little bit, but I, for the most part, just keep constant contact with the bottom. I hardly even move it. Let's go find a new spot for the green worms. All my marks literally just vanished off this hump. It's like crazy how they can just come and go like that. But they're all gone. Here we go. Mark around the bottom here. Oh, yep. Nice. Unbelievable. As soon as I found a fish, I caught one. Like, crazy. I went probably 45 minutes without a fish, but I hadn't marked anything. First mark I see, catch him. Wow, <laughs> those walleye are scrappy. It's like they're getting chased by like a pike every time. They're so scared. Green worm strikes again. Perfect eater right there. Woo, see ya. Yep. Green worm strikes again. Green worm, baby. Guess I should bring that camera up a bit because I got some other marks here been hunting for him quite a bit but we found some again fell victim to the green worm crazy to think that every fish is this size or bigger drop shot drop shot drop shot is so much fun I don't know why I like to drop shot so much but I do it's a fun way to fish just that that bite bite and then like that load and then that Oof. Hook sets to me are the funnest part of fishing. Literally, it's the hook set. I don't know why, but to me, that's what's like. That's the anticipation is the hook set. It's so smoky, isn't it? Like, holy. Looks like it's fog. It's just smog. It's not fog, it's smog. I got a mark though. Oh, and I've got a fish coming up, totally coming up to it. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, he just picked it up. Love that. That thud. Thud, and then I just kind of dip the rod just a little bit and then load up for a hook set. Yeah. The best, the best. VMC spin shot hook, one aught, a three eighth ounce pencil weight, and you can drop shot too. That's all you need. Literally, it's all you need. I got about, I'd say about 14 inches, 15 inches of line from my weight to my hook. And that's really all personal preference, obviously. You're going, it's gonna, uh, where you're marking the fish in the water column is not gonna dictate for the most part where you're gonna put that hook. If you're marking them like two feet up, well then put your, put your hook two feet off the bottom, right? Oh, you know how good that would have been if I would have connected with that fish as I was talking? Like that's the dream, but I'm not gonna redo all that because that's just the way it is. I'm just letting it just dangle down there. I'm letting the fish come up to eat it. Sometimes I'll dip it a little bit just to make sure that I'm on the bottom. 
and then I'll just tighten up so I just feel pressure. That's it. Just feel pressure. I like the little bit bigger weights, 3 8 and a half ounce. I found that that's like, for me, is the best for drop shot. If it wasn't windy at all and I was fishing light line, I'd fish probably something smaller. But for me, that's the ticket. How have I not caught a fish? Probably because I missed that last one. I'm being punished now. Somebody just take a little snack. See, I never miss fish when I'm fishing ever because I just edited it out on the video. But this one will be in there. And I think in the last video I did, I probably have a missed fish too. Yeah. Oh well. I'm going to make up for it right now by catching a monster. Oh, it's got to hit up. Hit, hit, hit. Little guy. I'm going to I'm going to catch a bunch of little guys now because I totally said I knew it. Clayton, why do you jinx yourself like that? Don't do that, Clayton. Don't do that. That's the smallest fish in the lake, I think. That's probably one of the smallest fish I've seen the last how many days? Crazy. He wanted the green worm. Okay, why do I keep closing this? I'll just keep this open. Oh, there's a half finally. Finally finally found a half. You ever notice when you cut a worm in half and you go to open the box and try to find the other half, it's gone? I think they must like crawl down to the bottom or something because this is the first half I think I found after I've cut. So I'm going to have a bunch of halves in there. So many marks. Look at this. 20 feet's like the magic right now. You go to 21, 22 and it just dips off. So let's back up here a little bit. Can I title this video something crazy to get clicks? Like fishing with nuclear bait. I can't believe this happened. Ah! Oh, and he did too. He ate it. He's small. When I, when I set the hook, I want like, I think that's the one thing I, I like the best is when it like stops you in the track in the tracks. This one, when you set it and the fish just kept going with it and was like, ah, oh, big deal. Oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me. See you little buddy. We'll catch one more fish here. Try another spot yet. It's probably gonna be a shorter video, but I still might stick a pig. Don't know yet. But I just wanted to make a video with the green worms. You guys should play a drinking game right now. Have a shot every time I say green worms. Right? Maybe have like, have a couple shots. Oh. <laughs> I just lost another fish. I never lose fish. Clayton. Well, sadly, that'll wrap up this video. Short one, probably even a 10 minute or I'm hoping something like that. A couple fish catches, nothing big. 23, 24 inch walleye is the biggest, but I got green worms. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, get outside.